So how do you celebrate sales success? Does it look like this? <laughs> or maybe more like this? Yay! Let's talk about how we celebrate when it all goes right. <laughs> Well, greetings everyone, Jeff Shore here with you, and I am excited. I am actually in a celebratory mood right now. It's happened. We have officially launched the book. Follow up and close the sale has hit the shelves, and it is so, it's just such a labor of love to put something together. It takes a lot of hard work, it really does, and then you wonder, will anybody think my baby is pretty, right, by the time you're out there, you get kind of put yourself down, you put it into the page, and you wonder whether it's gonna work. Well, did it work? Check this out. That's right, the book went to number one on the Amazon list of sales books, uh, number one in the hardcover edition right here, and number four in the Kindle edition. Really, really excited to see it shoot to the top of the list, and I just wanna say thank you to all of you who purchased the book. If you haven't done so yet, they're going quickly. I know they're running short on supply, but we're, the publisher is printing more as we speak. It's really off to a booming, booming start. And it's very, very exciting to see that. Of course, there's a whole bonus package that goes along with it. If you go to jeffshore.com, you will see that. But here's my question for you. How do you celebrate sales success? You know, as salespeople, we're all about the next sale. Right, we're always interested in what happens next. And so what will happen here is that we will book a sale or we'll have some other type of victory in what it is that we do. And then what happens? Before you know it, it's just back to the grind. <sighs> Can I make a suggestion here? Pause for a moment. Pump the brakes. <laughs> Relish what you have done. This is the question I have for you. What is the habit of celebrating success? What does that look like for you? I mean, just think about it from this perspective. How hard can it be at times to get a sale? How hard can that be? So I made a deal with him. I gave him an impossible task. And doesn't it feel that way sometimes where you just grind and you grind and you grind to put it all together? So if you're gonna work that hard, why should you not celebrate the success? Why should you not celebrate when it comes all together? Now, there are two ways to do this. The first way is to celebrate with your customer. See, a lot of salespeople will look at it and say, oh, you've decided to move forward? Cool, let's do the paperwork, this will hurt. Listen, before you move on to the paperwork, is there something you can do with your customer, with your client to celebrate that moment? Maybe it's a, a picture, you're gonna take a picture with them on the product that they've just purchased. Maybe you're gonna say, hey, who do you wanna call right now and let them know what you just did? I don't know, what, is there something that we can do here? You've worked so hard to get into this point. They're at a time of emotional altitude. Don't let that go away. This is a fantastic time to capture the moment, to somehow memorialize that moment. And when they do that, when you help them to memorialize the moment, What's gonna happen? You cement that sale even further. You lock them in at a time of high emotional altitude. Now that's with your customer, but there's also the opportunity for you. What does your habit of success look like? Now I'm not gonna suggest that you uh, take off for Hawaii and lie on a beach somewhere. Looking good, Billy Ray! Feeling good, Louis! although that does sound kind of nice, just not entirely practical. But what can you do? Maybe it's just a celebratory dinner with someone special, or maybe you book that round of golf or that, that relaxation massage. It doesn't have to be major, but I do wanna recommend that you're doing something, even just giving yourself permission to pig out on a cheeseburger and a chocolate shake at the end of the day. You see, the idea here is that we want success to be a habit. And one of the ways that we form habits is that we 
establish rituals. When things go right, I do this. That's a ritual. And it gets you into that success mindset. After a while, what are you thinking? You're craving. You're jonesing for a cheeseburger and a chocolate shake. That's the idea. For Karen and I, there is a very, very nice dinner planned to celebrate the number one ranking of follow up and close the sale. Now, unfortunately, right now we're in the middle of a pandemic and all the restaurants are closed. That's not going to stop. us. I've got it all planned out right now. There's a park not far where we always walk the dog. Karen doesn't know anything about this, but I'm going to go. I'm going to stop at our favorite Italian restaurant, get everything to go. And while I'm setting it up, I'll call her and say, meet me at the park. Uh, I'll have it right there. Tablecloth, candlesticks, music playing, wine open, the whole nine yards. Why? Because it's a success. And I want to be in the habit of celebrating my successes. That's what you should do as well. You work hard to get that sale. Take advantage of that. Celebrate what you just did. Enjoy the accomplishment because you know what happened? You changed somebody's life. That's what you did. There you go, Jeff's hot tip. Celebrate your success. Until next time, learn more to earn more. Thank <laughs> you.